Hi, and welcome to the Assemblies Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. So today, I want to do a video review of the W Drive from Kaboo HK. So let's get started. So I've done a video review of the W Drive from Kaboo HK before. However, they've come out with some recent updates to it, and I thought it would be worth going over again. In addition, I'm really excited to announce that I'm going to start carrying this in my store, so you'll be able to pick one up as soon as this video goes live. The W Drive is a disk drive emulator for the Apple II line of computers. It uses a regular SD card for storage. The W Drive comes with a 20-pin cable, which lets it plug into the disk II card on an Apple II. If you have a 20 to 19 pin adapter, you can also easily plug it into an Apple 2C or a 2GS. In addition, on the 2C and 2GS, the W drive also acts like a smart port device, which lets it boot up hard disk images as well as 400 or 800K floppy disk images. While you can use hard drive images on the Apple 2C and 2GS with the W drive, the Apple II, 2 Plus, and 2E didn't normally support smart port devices. However, Kaboo HK actually makes a add-on card for these computers called the Soft SP card. This actually lets you use smart port disk images on these computers. If you don't have the Soft SP card, the W drive actually comes with a software version of it called Soft SP, which works for some disk images, but not all of them. Let's go ahead now and we'll try it out and see some of the features. The W drive is easy to set up and operate. Essentially, all you need to do is load your disk images onto your SD card, plug it into your disk two card on your Apple II, and then fire up the computer. The actual device itself has four buttons on it. There's three on the front face here, and these are up, down, and select to select the different disk images on the card, as well as a reset button here on the side. The LCD screen that comes with the W drive is really crystal clear and sharp and makes it easy to select disk images. The W drive comes with a cable that's about 22 inches long, which is plenty long enough to run out the back of the Apple II and then around to the front and plug into the W drive which makes it easy to be able to select images. To select disk images, you can either use the LCD screen built into the W drive, or you can use the Apple II boot program. To use the boot program, simply put the wdmain.dat file on the SD card root directory and turn the computer on. Here, we can use the arrow keys to cycle through all of the disk images on the SD card. If there's a subdirectory, you can just hit the return key to drill into that. Once you've found a disk image that you want to boot, simply hit return and it'll boot it up. One thing about using the Apple II menu to select images is it won't remember the next time you turn the computer on and it'll just go back to the main boot menu. If you want to have it remember and use the same disk image, you want to use the actual W drive itself to select the image. Using the LCD screen to select disk images is straightforward. You can use the up and down arrow keys here, and then the middle button is select. If I have a subdirectory, I can just click on that to go down into it. I'll go down into the 5.25 inch directory here, and then down into games. And here I'll select Archon again. Now that I've selected a disk image using the W drive itself, I can go ahead and turn it off and then back on. And it should remember that that was the disk image that we chose and boot it right up, which it does. Once you've selected a disk image using the W drive itself, it will remember that every time you boot. If you want to get back to the main disk menu to select something else, you can just hit the reset button on the side of the W drive and then just hit reset on your computer and it should boot up to the main W drive boot menu where you can select a different disk image. 
The W drive should come preloaded with the latest version of the firmware. However, if a new version comes out, it's straightforward to update. You just take the wdrive.bin file, which contains the firmware, put it onto the root directory of the SD card, and then turn the computer on. Once it's on, you hit the left button, select button, and then the reset button on the right hand side, hold them down, let go of the reset key, and then it says release key, and then you let go of the two other keys. It says loading image, and now you can see it's updated the firmware, in this case to version 2.0b. The W drive supports a variety of disk images. In addition to regular DSK and .po or DO, it also supports WAS files, as well as hard drive images, including HDVs, 2MGs, and POs. These can be 32 megabyte or 400K or 800K disk images. On the Apple IIc and Apple IIgs, you can plug in the W drive and automatically boot disk images for hard drives, such as .hdv or 2MG files. However, on the Apple II, II Plus, or IIe, you can't normally boot these disk images because it doesn't understand smart port devices. Kaboo HK makes an optional add-on card called the Soft SP card. However, if you don't have that card, the more recent versions of the W drive firmware actually have something called the Soft SP, which is a software implementation of the smart port interface. So on these computers, you can actually boot up things like HDV or 2MG files. To demonstrate how the Soft SP works, I've taken out my Soft SP card, and so now I'm just going to rely on the software version of that smart port support. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down in the menu, and I'm going to choose my 32 megabyte hard drive image. And now that I've done that, I can go ahead and turn the computer off and then turn it back on again. And when I do this, you can see it says soft SP is loading. And now it's gone ahead and it's booted up my hard drive image. And I can now go ahead and just use this without actually having smart port support on my computer. Again, you don't need to worry about this if you're on a 2C or a 2GS since smart port support is already built into those computers. Now for some programs like Knox Archaist, for example, that actually Knox use Archaist. the upper bank of memory, you won't be able to use this trick because the soft SP software is installed in that upper bank. So in that case, you'll either have to use say a Lyron card or one of these soft SP cards to get support on the Apple IIe. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the W drive from Kaboo HK. I'll have a link in the show notes for where you can pick one up. In addition, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button below. I'd really appreciate it. Finally, I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me further, and I'll have a link in the show notes to that as well. I'd like to wish everyone a happy holidays, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.